Aloha everyone and welcome back to another space weather update. My name is Alexis. This is the Ascension Diaries where I track my own and everyone else's consciousness during space weather experiences. And today's data is so significant. I'm going to stay on the screen and discuss it with you because I was just doing a live stream on my YouTube channel about the December themes in general and the overall review. And while I was on this live stream, we had an X1.53 solar flare happen. We were all shocked, very excited. And then just moments later, while I was talking about Atlantis, we had an X5 solar flare come out. So that is now the largest solar flare of 2023. It happened at, <laughs> at 2205 UTC time of the 31st of December, 2023. So it was just hours like I said, it was just moments. Whoop. Here's the time here at the bottom. It's just moments before the day has switched over. So this is technically <laughs> the last and the winner of 2023 by a landslide. Huge, huge solar flare. The uh, activity lasted over almost an hour, it looks like to me, from the data that we were in X-ray, X ray X. X flare level radiation for about an hour of time. So from 2140 to 2224. So very close to almost an hour of time where we were in X level X ray radiation on planet Earth from a sunspot that had rotated all the way around. So the first time it hit us with the X2, this is the same solar solar sunspot that hit us with the X2 has now hit us with an X5 on its second round. So on the 14th, that's what this one was here on the right. And this, I'm pretty sure it's the same sunspot that rotated around and they were warning us about yesterday that hit us again. So it's pretty powerful, pretty powerful solar flare we just had. And like I said, I was on a live stream talking with all of you and you were the ones telling me this happened, the one rare occurrence. So that was pretty awesome as well. So thanks for keeping up with me and being the real ones, you guys. Here's the solar wind evidence. There's, they just cut it out. They just cut the data out from the solar wind during these solar flare episodes. So I'm sorry, I don't have data about how fast or instant that that solar eruption like slapped us, but the evidence is there that it is going to be the big, one of the bigger significant solar radiation experiences we've had in, uh, since like 2017. <laughs> so pretty, pretty good, pretty impressive. Here's the radiation noted in Russia. You can see here, it's still very you know, there's some vertical stoking here. There is all of this background radiation or overlapping radiation, which has been odd and continued on. The Italian data also has a blast a prevalent here. This may be the actual only evidence that you'll see of the Earth-based equipment picking up an instant reaction to the solar flare radiation that isn't being cut out of the data. So that's very rare. So I think that's what we're looking at right now makes sense to me pretty close I would say maybe like an hour because maybe it should have been over here that activity but let's just say it's in the it's in the realm of conversation here for that particular part of the study the global consciousness dot was in the blue when I was going to do my live stream today then in a way it hit this redness during that solar flare which can happen during these flares is a, can be an extreme moment of incoherency because it is two opposite polarities smacking into each other, creating this multidimensional light reaction, this radiation. So when those two opposite ends hit each other, I think that's an incoherent moment in a way that is meant to be to bear fruit of more coherency afterwards. <laughs> so let's look at what the sun and the planets were doing because this is important for the study with the X5. So uh, the flare came out on the left hand side of the sun. It's the rotating towards a solar flare. So technically it would be over here that it went out. So it's going to, the energy is going to go probably more towards Saturn, Neptune, Chiron, Aries, Jupiter, and Uranus. Sort of 
and maybe Pluto. But I would assume that there may be more magnetic pull on this side of the sun to cause it to flare out this direction. So maybe Saturn is a part of what's going on there. But another note here on the right hand side and the turning away from us side of the sun is Ceres, Mercury and Mars and Venus all kind of piling up together. That's a lot of electromagnetic strength in one area. So that may also pull the magnetics and make the sun kind of warp and pull out all of these large explosions. So I've been kind of seeing if there's some correlations there. I see a little bit, but this is a part of the conversation that's more new. So let's just let's just leave it there and let's proceed with more research because like this is an X5. This is major new kind of territory of research as well. We don't normally deal with an X5 level. So there is some stuff here that is kind of unknown, I would say. Um, thank you again for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you haven't done so yet, please do so. We are steadily rising. So the algorithm for YouTube is actually not stopping me as hard as Instagram and those other places. So please go on there. Thank you for supporting the channel. As a year end sort of thing, there was an article about all the winning Aurora Borealis photographs of the year. Those will be coming out if you're interested. <laughs> Go check it out. There was some decent photography this year. The earthquakes right now, we're going to just start waiting to see when the next humongous earthquake is going to be. We are kind of now just waiting to see what the response is going to be from this huge X radiation moment that we just got. Honestly, the data isn't even all caught up. I can't even show you the best stuff. So by this time tomorrow, I'm sure I'm going to have even cooler stuff to show you. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> this is the model that we check constantly to see where the waves came out of the sun. To me, it's showing the wave is going the opposite direction from the one solar flare that happened, the large one. So I don't think this is updated. I think they're showing us the weaker solar flare that happened before the stronger solar flare. The weaker solar flare certainly did go towards Mercury and Venus, in my opinion. It did go out that side of the sun. But I'm, I think there's data missing here for sure, which is too bad. The cryptocurrencies are now going to start moving. This is going to be rapid shift as well for the Earth. And let's just look at the footage just to see if you can see anything abnormal. So here we are on the 31st. This is all happening. Okay, we've reset. So we're on the 28th. There's that spiraling. Okay, the 29th. We're into the 29th. A little bit off the right. 30th. A little bit off the bottom here. Top. 31st little more activity and I think we're missing data yeah so it hasn't fully updated by tomorrow you'll be able to see what this x5 blew out into the space because it's it's not surprising to me at all that this data isn't ready yet because this is a massive massive solar flare let's look if there's any objects going into the sun to prompt it if you see anything I didn't see an object fly in it may just not have been picked up on the radar this time round, but consistently, at least from the last huge solar flare, that's what we saw. We saw an object go in and we saw the large X2 flare come out. So just seeing if anything looks like it went in, I don't see anything. So we well, can wait till tomorrow. Someone might have, someone might notice <laughs> then what's going to happen. Overall, what's going to happen here, the wind's going to go up, the aurora is going to go up, the sunspots are probably going to get more active. Keep updated with spaceweather.com to see the solar wind speed change. It's currently under average, so it should be more calm. The storms around Earth are likely going to pick up their intensity now, so watch out for these storms like this one over by Madagascar. This one over here, thankfully, is not as big of an issue. It's in the ocean. Nothing else too alerting right now to report to you, but this is big enough news all on its own to have this massive solar flare. So keep your eye open for all the photography. You can see this is a massive, massive solar flare, like bright X explosion. I don't know if you've been following, but the X's are certain sizes and this one is humongous, which is great because it makes sense that it's an X5. I'm glad that that's all checking out, <laughs> but <clears throat> It, we could be getting a few more flares that are just as powerful, but maybe this is that was the big shebang we were waiting for, and it's going to calm down after this. We're not sure, but that's what we're on standby to look for. 
And until then, I will be seeing you on the socials and we can talk more about this very soon. Goodbye, y'all. Beep, bubble, beep.